Hi Creators! I am so excited to show you how I made this card. It's a Seasons Greetings card with a beautiful poinsettia on it. Now, I handmade this poinsettia using bits and pieces from different framelits and thinlets and everything because I didn't have the actual poinsettia items. I went ahead and tried to build my own and even though it's kind of a hodgepodge, I think it, you know, it works. I think it turned out pretty well. So I'm going to show you how I did this card today. So this is just a standard card base that measures eight and a half by five and a half and scored in the middle at four and a quarter. I also have a piece of dapper denim. This is our card mat and it measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then I have a plethora of scrap cardstock and the colors that I've used include old olive, calypso coral, real red, chocolate chip, and whisper white. I am also using the starburst embossing folder close that up and then run that through the big shot. Flip your cardstock over and take your craft ink and then run it across this way too. So I'm going to set that aside for the moment so that we can let that dry a little bit and we are going to get into all of the pieces that we are going to cut out for this. So first of all, from the Seasonal Layers Thinlets die, we are using the tree branch and I am going to cut this out with chocolate chip. You can cut out as many branches as you'd like. On this card I have two, but I am just going to do one on my next card here. And from the Pretty Pines Thinlet dies, we're using these pine needles or the pine bows to cut out some of our old olive. And from the Eastern Medallions Thinlet dies, we're using these two to cut out one each of the floral shapes, one in Calypso Coral and the other in Real Red. From the Eastern Medallions Framelits, we also want to cut one of these shapes out of the old olive cardstock. And I just wanted to point out a quick tip for you guys. If you're using a lot of different framelits and thinlets and you forget which package it went to, most of them have a little stamp on the edge here. And it has the Sizzix and then a number. And that number will correspond to the product number. And from the Mayflowers Framelit dies, we're using this leaf to cut out a couple in Calypso Coral and one in Old Olive. And also from the Mayflowers Framelit dies, we're using this floral image here to cut out a flower in Calypso Coral. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is draw the poinsettia leaves on my pieces here. Now I'm using all four of these floral shapes and then I'm going to take my Stampin' Write marker in basic black with the fine tip edge and I'm going to just draw those leaves right on. All right, and then I'm gonna take some sponge daubers and my ink pads. I have Real Red and Calypso Coral. And I'm just gonna sponge around the outside of each corresponding colored piece. Okay, and then on a scrap piece of Whisper White, I'm going to stamp my sentiment using Dapper Denim. And this sentiment is from Snowflake Sentiments. It's the Season's Greetings, which is just such a nice, lovely sentiment. So we're gonna ink that up and stamp it right off to the side here. And we're going to be cutting this out, so it doesn't matter where your placement is. And then using your paper snips, first of all, cut out the main part and then you can go in and cut out the detail. All 
Okay, now it's time to assemble our card. So I'm going to start by crisping that score line on my card base. Then I'm going to take some of my fast fuse and adhere my base down. Okay, and I'm gonna take some of my pieces here and I'm just going to curl slightly with my bone folder some of those petals to kind of give it a little more dimension. And I'm going to use our fine tip glue pen to glue my delicate pieces down. So on the back of your branch, just put a few dabs of the glue here and there. And then if you want to just set one of your clear acrylic blocks kind of on top of that to hold it in place while you get the rest of your items ready. So I'm going to take my pine needles or my pine bows, bows and put some adhesive on the back of that. And then I'm just going to follow the line of the branch all right while we give that a chance to set up for a moment let's assemble our poinsettia with some of our mini glue dots we're going to take the smallest piece and put a glue dot on the back of that and we're going to stick that right down in the middle of the middle flower. And then another couple of glue dots. And I like to use one or two on this back here. And then we're going to assemble that on top of there like that. I'm gonna put our little colorful leaves, sprinkle those in there. So take a glue dot on the right side of the bottom and then just kind of tuck them in wherever you think they look best. And I like to group those similar shapes together. So I'm gonna put these right next to each other. Then I'm gonna take the old olive piece and I'm going to put that over here. And I only colored in three of these leaves because I'm not going to show the whole thing. I'm only going to show those three pieces. So I'm going to put some glue dots on the back of this. And then put those right here. Okay, flip that over. We're going to put some dimensionals down and I am layering my dimensionals to kind of hold in place some of those pieces. Also, we're going to put some on the back of our greeting. And last but not least, we're going to take one of our faceted gold gems and put that right in the middle. And there we are, it is all done. What do you guys think? There's our beautiful poinsettia card inspired by my leggings. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of future videos and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video today. You can get me online at melissascreations.com and you can follow me on Facebook over at facebook.com slash mcreations. And if you're interested in seeing the behind the scenes and more about my personal life, you can also follow me over on my vlog channel, Melly Tunny. And I have a link up here on the screen right here in the corner, as well as down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and I can't wait to show you the next video. Have a great one.